SEC baseball is underway. With the first pitch popped up to center field. It'll be LeBron, the shortstop for the Crimson Tide. One pitch, one out for Tennessee in the top of the first. Teams had already had a warning for unsportsmanlike conduct, so as a result, he was ejected and missed the Tuesday game against Eastern Kentucky. But he'll get a base hit in his return here, a single to right field for Tennessee. Play the year before and like, hey, just, you know, come on over. Walk to Amigle, but two aboard for Tennessee. Hard it is to get to Omaha when you are that good in the regular season. Hess strikes out tears. Payoff pitch. Just high, ball four. A fastball at 97 misses upstairs for Hess, and now the bases are loaded. 3-2. Breaking ball gets away. Tennessee will take a 1-0 lead. We'll hold on there. 1-2 to Curley. Fastball for a called third strike at 95 miles per hour. Wouldn't doubt it if a couple balls off a cause he run in, but not that one right there. Just a, that's the frisbee. Try to go back door. So he's just showing you a little bit of everything. Stroke tie and deep to center field. Ensley all the way back, but it's gone. TJ McCants ties this game at one with a solo homer. Home run number seven for T.J. McCants. When guys threw side on, they didn't throw hard. So, I mean, to be able to throw the ball 90-something miles an hour. Drilled to right field. Alabama's in front. Ian Petrutz with a solo homer. Back-to-back -back jacks for the Tide with McCants and Petrutz. Welcome to SEC Baseball, Ian Petrutz. You know, a lot of times that's the problem when you start showing guys every pitch. And he went back to the changeup. A trust was right on it. And another ball absolutely crushed out of the stadium. No doubt. That's two no-doubters right off the bat. Causey strikes out slight. Two gone. The one-two. Got him swinging. So A.J. Causey with three strikeouts in the inning. The 0-2 to Inslee. Got him looking. Curve again. Payoff pitch. Throws him again. Another strikeout for Ben Hess. Already four and in two innings against Tennessee. Pitching staff and Jason Jackson, the pitching coach. He'll strike out to begin this bottom of the second for the Crimson Tide. That ball put in play. A base hit for Will Hodo. One out single here in the second. But he's come in and really done a great job of producing offensively. What did everybody tell you in Little League when you were the nine-hole hitter? Nine-hole hitter just gets a base hit to left here. <laughs> like, hey, that's okay. You're, you're the second leadoff, right? <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm not. Ball four. The base is loaded for Alabama. Trying to escape this jam in the second. And he will. Strikeout number six for Kazi. Alabama loads the bases but will not score. Coming and you can't hit it. That one to the backstop for the second walk of the game for Amick. 2-1. Destroyed. High and deep to right field. Dryling has powered Tennessee in front. 3-2. Home runs in four of the last five games for Dylan Dryling. Breaking ball called third strike. That's with his fifth strikeout. Got him swinging, went back to the breaking ball. Six strikeouts, Ben Hess. Inside it hit him. Fastball at 93 miles per hour hits more. Crushes that to right field. And Tennessee's in front, five to two. Blake Burke powers out his seventh homer of the year. Well, Roger, with a two out hit by pitch, you extend that inning. And I know Ben Hess, you know, he was wanting to finish that inning, you know, with a, a quality, just a, a perfect inning. And, 
hits Christian Moore, and then Blake Burke makes him pay. I mean, that ball is just down and into a left-hander and just such a sweet swing. He knows he's got to drop the bat now, right? <laughs> Can't pit many home runs when you already been tossed, so. Dylan Dryling sends a charge into this deep into right center field. McCants can't get to it. Dryling hustling past second. Into third. What a ball game. Dylan Dryling putting together for Tennessee. Got him swinging. Huge strikeout for Aiden Moza. Two gone in the Tennessee fifth. Payoff pitch. Just off the plate, and the inning continues with a walk to Curley. Runner goes for second. Smacked into center field for a base hit. Tennessee adds to its lead. Dryling scores. Hustling to third base, Curley. The hit and run RBI single pays off for Tennessee. Cannon Peebles makes it 6-2, Big Orange. Runner goes again. That's high for ball two. Gassetti will not throw to second. Puts it in the gap in right center. Here come the Volunteers. Curley scores. Peebles right behind. Dalton Bargo, a pinch hit, two-run double. And Tennessee has made it an 8-2 lead in the fifth. Sharp lit is shortstop. There's Justin LeBron. And that will close out the inning with the Volunteers strike for three runs in this top of the fifth. The final two games of the series. A bunt laid down by McCants, third base side. Causey won't be in time, and it gets away. McCants will stay at first. Into the shift, Moore knocking it down, offline. Everybody's safe. Slight takes a called third strike on a fastball from Causey. And now Buchanan comes in, and it's 84 to 87. Base hits a left for Billy Amick. Crushes that high to straightaway center. McCants all the way back, and it's gone. Gavaris tears with a two-run homer. Give him six homers this year for the Vols, and now Tennessee with a 10-2 lead. Seventeen game hitting streak. Kavaris tears. I was about to say that's one way to extend the hitting streak, right? 0 for three. Look at Roger. That plays 390. It's it seems like it's always played a little bit more like 410. Is two two. Got him looking. Causey with his eighth strikeout through six strong innings tonight against Alabama. Barrels that high and deep to left field. Dryling on the warning track will make the grab. Miller skies it high to right field. Inning will come to a close. The 0-2. Fastball smack the other way at 101 miles per hour. Burke fights it off in the left field. And he's got a leadoff single to start this eighth inning. Into center field for a base hit. Amick with his second hit of the night. Berg showing off his speed to third base on the single by Billy Amick. Been on the corners with nobody out for Tennessee. This gets away from Gassetti. Here comes Burke. Tennessee 11, Alabama 2. I know it's a totally different lineup, but the big lefty. That hit McCants. Went around, according to home plate umpire Christopher Griffith, strike three. Called third strike. Fastball at 90. Kants at second with two gone. And it's a walk to put Swinney aboard. Got him swinging. Aaron Combs with a strikeout closes out the eighth as Alabama does not score. One, two to Curley. Lifted high into the gap in left center field for a base hit. All the way to the dugout fence or the bullpen fence for Tennessee. Curley will cruise in the second with a double. Tennessee prior to that had been unbeaten in SEC play. Four grounds that one to short for the out to close out the inning. Only 30 minutes from home in Hattiesburg on Tuesday. Crushes that to center. Backing up on it is tears to the wall, and it's gone. 
Will Hodo muscles out his fifth home run of the season here in the bottom of the ninth. For an opponent, didn't feel that way about the loss to Southern Miss earlier in the week. And Combs strikes out McCann swinging, and the ball game is over. Tennessee starts SEC play with a dominant 11-3 win against Alabama, and now the Volunteers with 17 straight victories, the longest active winning streak in college baseball.